Okay, it's Forty Fifty Nine One Hundred. Uh, I'm, I'm here at the football mountain. At uh, this is the place where uh, back when I had snow, I had a squatch. Walk down the hill in the snow. Walk around my jeep. Went over here in a little spot and come right across through here, up through here. Right around that turn, go right up through the thicket there. That was like pretty cool. And this is where I was at yesterday when I found the uh, that bedding area. So we're gonna go hunting back here today, but I wanna video everything I'm back here seeing from what I saw yesterday. And uh, what I'm using today is my 17 Super Mag. At least that way when I see one up on a ridge, I can at least shoot, at least I can try to hit it from a couple hundred yards away. And everything, but there's a mountain. There's there's that. It's one ridge. It's like yeah, I got three creeks to go across. Look at this. I found this yesterday. Yeah. Right here. Right here. Pretty cool, huh? That's about at least eight foot high, nine foot somewhere around there. But I keep on getting it. Yeah, well, that cross creek, that cross creek. That's where I go. That's pretty cool. But apparently, I'm lucky because I'm the only one been up in here. Yesterday and today, because I ain't seen all the tracks. But there's one thing I did find yesterday when I was going in. I checked on the way out. I found a footsie print. Right here. Uh, you can see toes right there. Down through here, around. Down through here is a female. Up through here, there's one. Let's see, one, two, one, anyway there's toes right there, look, look, like, just look right here, toe, toe, and the rest of them through here, got the ball right here, comes down, it's a female, it's got a narrow heel, but that's been there for, oh God, you can tell it's been there for a little bit, you really can't tell. Back in the ridge, right up back over in there is the birthing area. That's where I'm headed. That's where I was at yesterday. It's really not too bad out here. Well, this is the area that I was in. Uh, when I first started coming back from here hunting, a couple years ago it snowed during the summer. I'd have two squatches, one on the left side, one on my right side. And they'd follow me. They'd be making fun of me and everything like that, you know, as far as throwing rocks, whooping at me, following me. And you can see the mother on top of the ridge up there in the corner. Which you, you, I mean, well, as far as seeing her, you can see her. But the main thing is her silhouette. And it was big. That's all I can say. Now, right here see what a ridge goes up all that up in there I hear movement constantly when I'm up in here <coughs> you know but it's pretty cool up in here There's rock piles up in there they can set up there I've seen silhouettes up in there zoomed in on them you could see them but Basically, the silhouettes up behind the wall brush and stuff and everything. But what I'm trying to find out now is uh, that bedding area I found. Went in there yesterday and it stunk. So, when I go back in there, I'm going to be turkey hunting, but doing my calls and stuff. But when I get back in here, 
and see if that area stinks anymore. Because I mean, it was the same smell I got from the squatches in May 10th, a couple years ago. Well, I was talking to a friend last night from California, and I asked her about, do squatches come back to the place that they were born? And that's a very good question. Some say yes, some say no. Well, it just all depends. Get a little zoom in here. There you go. Some say yes, some say no. But you know, it's it's a debatable thing. Me personally, I say yes. And everything. But I'll be right back. Okay. I got about this creek there. There's a ridge right there. It goes way up there. But I want you to look at this. This tree right here. That right there. Come down through here. It was uprooted. And this right here. The tree was pushed over onto it after it got pushed down. And it's an oak. But if you can tell, the tree's been uprooted and laid over and this was laid on top of it. You know, it's, you know, you just start seeing stuff like that. Look at this right here. Look at this right here. There we go. Well, let me walk up to it. It's easier. This is what I started to see when I was up in here yesterday morning. twisted uh, this way from right to left and you can see the one on the far side you can see the one on the far side right there has been twisted this way back toward me and it's the same way you can see how that is yeah that's cool huh and I'm like, wow, man. So they got some strength, but this is just the beginning of what I've been seeing. You know? Uh, like, right there. Right there. Okay. Turn completely around. And look right there. Yeah, right there. Oh, damn it. Slowly here. And yeah, right there. Try to get it close as I can. There you go. You see that? That's neat, man. But yeah, this is uh these are some of the stuff that I'm seeing when I'm up in here. And we've got a couple more. Right over there, on the ground, that's been laid over. I mean, these guys are phenomenal back here. And I got two more times across the creek. So, and right now I haven't seen any turkey scratches. Except for right here. Because what they're doing, they normally go from that side to this side over here. But I'm on the mountain, so that means you gotta come up that ridge and down the ridge, cross the creek, and come this way and up that way. We'll see. I ain't using no turkey calls yet. Yeah, so, there's some pretty interesting stuff here. But I try to tell people that if you can understand and read their signs that they're leaving behind, that will teach you everything you need to know. 
people think just because you see a bunch of structures doesn't mean anything. Well, if you learn to read stuff, you, you'll under, start understanding them. Like this right here. Like it right there. That's a tree right there. Bowed over. But here's the fun part. This bottom tree right here is rotten. It fell. It was pushed. When that tree was, when that tree right here, the oak, was laid over, it hit that tree right there and bowed it over. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. You know, but I mean, there's so much stuff back here that they do, you just got to learn to read them. I mean, it's phenomenal. Look right here. Check this out. I'm gonna show you. See this right here? See it right there? You know, like that? Now, look at this. Look right back here. Let me zoom in on. Where's it at? Right there. 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 Look at it right there. Here, let me walk over to it. Should I be even better? Like I see you got this break right here. See how it was twisted? It was twisted outward. And laid over. And that piece right there was laid on top of it. Okay. We come back here. You can see the tracks. You can see the tracks are the walking. That's people only you gotta look and learn. Let them teach you. Look at this here. This tree, it's still got buds on it. I just heard a rock throw. And look at this. Look at that. It's wild. But the stream runs all the way up through there, and runs down the mountain. And once you get away from the noise, you can start hearing sounds that they're making. You hear walking, talking, well not talking, but chattering. Because I was in here crack of dawn like yesterday morning, and I was hearing chattering. But I couldn't tell which direction it was coming from. That's the really wild thing about it. Damn. Well, back here, you know, turkey hunting, you know, I look for scratches. I ain't seen no scratches yet. So I'm pretty good to go. Now, I'll be back. <laughs>